So there you are, you've just put together your first Gantt chart. Hope you enjoyed that. Hi everyone, welcome back to Making It Simple. So today what we're going to be doing is putting together a Gantt chart for your project. Now a Gantt chart is a very fancy project plan with everything that you need to do and when you're going to do it. And the great thing about a Gantt chart is that it's a really cool visual representation of everything you need to do in the project plan and you can change it, you can manipulate it and it gives you and everybody else you show it to an instant overview of what the project is. It's really powerful. Now if you haven't checked out my other video which was putting together a project plan then click on the link above and check it out now because that video tells you everything you need to do to be able to fill in a Gantt chart. But if you've already done it and you've already got um, a bunch of things that you need to do, then we're gonna get into putting together a Gantt chart right now. So, hope you enjoy the video, let's go. So I'm gonna show you Instagram. I absolutely love Instagram because there's a free version of it. It's super simple to use and it's not complicated. You don't need to download anything. You can share it. It's really, really good. So we're gonna just jump right in. So first of all, if you go to instagant.com, oh, and by the way, um, I'm not affiliated with Instagant whatsoever. They don't sponsor me and I'm not getting anything out of this. This is really for me to show you what my favorite tool is so that we can start putting together really cool Gantt charts. So let's uh, log in, so I'm gonna click there. So once you've logged into Instagram, you're going to be seeing something like this, so something that's completely blank. It does have a tutorial, I've actually skipped that and I've just gone straight to this, but if you once you sign up, then you can have a look through the tutorial. Okay, so first of all, this is your Gantt chart. We'll go into all the wonderful things that that can show us in a second. And you also have your side panel here. So I can get rid of the side panel, I can get it back up again. And this is where I can store my projects. Now with Instagram, the free version, you pretty much get all the features. The difference between the free version and the paid version is uh, you do get some more features, but mostly you can only manage up to three projects. So the free version is, um, you know, really good for getting started. So this is our project and we are going to be launching a marketing campaign. So first of all, I'm going to rename this section marketing assets. Um, also in the marketing um, campaign, we're all going to have TV as well. So I'm going to have marketing a TV. Um, I'm going to add another. I'm going to add another work stream called um, radio. I'm going to add another section called uh, launch launch event. Um, and now I'm going to start filling this in. So in the marketing assets, uh, I'm going to I'm going to create a task. I need to create the marketing uh, banners. I'm actually going to go. I'm I'm going to click into one of these tasks. I'm going to create a new subtasks. So create the scrappy banners. Excellent, look at that, well done, Dean. Skyscraper banners. I guess one of the things that you do need to do to be a project manager is to be able to spell. So, you know, maybe, I, maybe it's good that I'm doing YouTube videos now. So what are the tasks that I need to do? So I do need the copy here. Um, I also need to maybe take photos um, create the graphic okay so that means I don't need this one so I'm just going to delete the create the copy overall so in the launch I'm going to add a task which is to actually go live and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that in just a second um, but also in the launch I'm going to want to have the no go meeting and I think I'm gonna drag that to the top because I'm probably gonna have that. Now I'm just putting it there because I know that I'm gonna to need to do those things, but the great thing about putting together these Gantt charts is that I can, uh, I can manipulate everything afterwards. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go back to my go live task. Let's just pretend that we've got a go live of the 22nd of August, and I'm going to just put that in there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn this into a milestone because it's not a task that we need to achieve, but it's important that I want to put it on the Gantt chart. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna to convert to a milestone. I'm just gonna get rid of the map. So this is my go live date on the 22nd of August, which means that everything I, I do at the moment is gonna to work towards this day. All right, so I need to create the skyscraper banners and I need to create the copy. So this week, I'm gonna get the copywriter to write the copy. And all I'm doing is I'm holding it down and just dragging it. 
Next week, uh, my marketing asset workstream owner told me that they're gonna they're going to be taking the photos that are needed on that particular day. And then after the photos and the copy have been created, then the graphic designer can work on it from the fifth onwards. So now I'm just gonna put those in. And he said it's gonna take roughly a week. So we'll just, we'll give him, actually, do you know what? We'll give him, we'll give him uh, five days. It's ignoring the weekends at the moment. So we're gonna give them, we're gonna give the gra graphic designer until uh, Monday the 11th. Now, one of the really cool things about Instagram is that I can link these things together because I want to do the copy before I take the photos and, uh, and I need both of these things before I create the graphics. So in other words, I have a dependency between the copy and the photos and actually creating the graphics. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna click on that yellow circle and then I'm just gonna drag my cursor over to create the graphics and now I have a dependency, which is awesome. I also need to make sure I take the photos before I create the graphics. So I'm gonna go over here again, I'm gonna click on the yellow circle and I'm gonna just drag it onto the task that I've got a dependency. Now I'm not going to link copy and the photos because I don't need the copy to take the photos, but I do need the copy to create the graphics and I need the copy, and I need the photos to create the graphics. So they're the dependencies that I've made. Now if I want to unlink a dependency, I can just go here and I can unlink it. But essentially what I've done is I've linked two things. So if I move, so if I move this along, I know that I can't create the graphics until I've taken the photos. And so as I move this backwards and forwards, I can see that the creating the graphics has been moving. So if I haven't taken the photos for the skyscraper banner, then the deadline changes. So what the great thing is you can do with Instagram really, really quickly and easily is create all the dependencies and you can see if there's anything that's going to be affecting your milestones because eventually you're going to link everything to the go live and if there's a bunch of dependencies that are going to shift right, then the go live is going to be shifting right as well. So now we've got our marketing assets done, so we're going to do the same. Now the other thing is, is that in order to make sure that I can go live, it very much depends on the TV ad being ready. So I'm going to link this milestone and this milestone, which means that I'm not delaying it, I'm not delaying, I'm not delaying the go live, but as soon as I am not ready, you can see I start delaying. I start delaying the go live by a day. Every day it's not ready. Now I'm going to pull that right back. I'm going to, that's, that was the 22nd. Yeah, that was the 22nd of August we decided that. Um, I want to lock that date actually. So uh, it means that I can't now drag that across. I can't, I, in other words, I absolutely have to be ready by the 19th of August on the TV ad for us to go live on the 22nd. There's, there's no option now. Now, this is pretty much it. I mean, this is, you now have a project plan. You now have everything that you need to do, um, you know, in order to go live. A very basic project plan, but essentially you put something together. You can keep adding to this, you can change it, you can manipulate it. So if the graphic team says we're gonna be late, then you can actually just start moving these and you can see how it changes the whole picture. So that's pretty much it. That's, the, that's a super simple way of putting together a project plan. So there you are, you've just put together your first Gantt chart. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, I get really excited about them. I know that I'm the most uncool person on the planet, but I love putting together Gantt charts. I, I find them therapeutic in the end. But I really hope you enjoyed that and I really hope you enjoy putting together your Gantt charts in the future. Please like and subscribe. If you've got any questions about anything in the video, please comment below and I'll go and answer them. If you've got anything else you want me to check out, if you've got anything else you want me to just go through in terms of project management or product management tools, um, comment in the comments below and I'll get into it. Until then guys, have a great day and I'll see you soon.